Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to talk about Pretty Perfect Polish. I do want to address the change of background first. Um, I did move my desk in my room because I was sick of fighting with the sunlight that was always behind me. So just moved around this corner here but the window is still over here so I do have some natural light coming in. But I was just sick and tired of fighting. So we're gonna play with this setup for a little bit and see how we like it. Um, but today we're here to talk about Pretty Perfect Polish. Pretty Perfect Polish is a UK indie brand that I have been looking at and drooling over for about a year now. Claire Gray introduced me to this brand on her channel and I have been drooling over them for about a year. Um, that's the problem with UK indies, we can't get them over here. They're very, it's very hard for them to ship out of the UK unless they can find somebody to distribute them in, their, in this country for them um, because they can't ship themselves out of the country, which is very unfortunate. Claire has got a whole series of videos about that and um, she still is looking for signatures on her Code Rainbow petition if you're interested in signing that or finding out a little bit more about that petition. It's uh, basically in order to change the international regulations around shipping nail polish. If you would like some more information about that, there will be a link in the description bar down below. Pretty Perfect Polish has um, teamed up with somebody in the US to distribute her polishes within the US and to Canada. So we are now able to get our hands on these beautiful polishes. It makes me so happy. Uh, when I found out that this was happening, I ordered immediately because I had to have these in my, in my life. I've been looking at them for too long not to want them in my life. So I have five of them to talk about. I did swatch them all the other night so I have, a, I have an idea of what the formulas are like and how I like them. So I have worn these uh, just to swatch them. I haven't worn them as full manicures yet so I can't attest to their wear time but I did test out the formulas when I was swatching them. Overall I was very happy with the formulas. I didn't have any complaints formula wise on these polishes. I didn't really actually have any complaints at all to be honest with you. But let's get talking about each individual polish that I have here. So this first one that I've been waving around in your face for the last, what, two, three minutes? Um, we're gonna talk about this one first. This is Slytherin. Now this is a full coverage glitter. With it being a full coverage glitter, I do recommend wearing a peel off base coat if you dislike dealing with glitter, glitter polishes when uh, removal is involved because I hate dealing with glitter polishes when cleaning up. So this is this beautiful silver greenish glitter. It's got bigger black glitters in there too. It's very unusual. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I put three coats of this on my nails. I probably could have got away with two, but I don't like seeing any nail line. And it was just a li I could just see a little bit too much nail line for my personal pr preference. You might you might be fine with it at two, but I preferred that just that third extra third coat to cover up my nail line. So the picture that you're seeing does have three coats. The removal of this because I did not wear a peel off base coat was not the greatest, but you expect that with a glitter polish such as this because it is just a complete glitter bomb, full coverage glitter. It's just so blingy and sparkly and I love it. I can definitely see this as an accent nail for sure. I don't generally wear full coverage glitters as a full manicure ever, unless it's for pictures like this, but I can definitely see myself pulling this out and using it as an accent nail. So this is Pretty Perfect Polish Slytherin. Next one I have to talk about is this beautiful pink. This is called Have a Hubba Bubba Birthday. And it is this beautiful pink holographic. Look at that holographic just shining through. Formula on this was two coats to be fully opaque on the nails. And the color of this, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the color of this when I finally got it to my house and I was looking at it. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it, but I actually really liked it once it was on my skin. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with this one. And that holographic is just absolutely gorgeous. So this is Have a Hubba Bubba Birthday from Pretty Perfect Polish. The next two polishes I have were from her neon collection that she released this past summer. We'll talk about this purpley pink one first. This is called Always. And it's this lovely pinky purple holographic neon. Beautiful formula, two coats to be opaque on the nails. And those lovely holographic glitters just glittering through are absolutely gorgeous. Again, two coats to be fully opaque on the nails. Beautiful polish. 
so this is always from Pretty Perfect Polish. This polish was one of the polishes that I saw on Claire's channel that I absolutely fell in love with and wished that I could get over here. So when I saw this on the list of polishes that she was releasing, it went into my basket pretty, pretty quickly because just look at this polish. This is called Eternal and it's a neon blue holographic. It's got a pinky, there's that pink flash. Pink flash through it, absolutely stunning polish. I believe this was one of the polishes Claire wore last month for her September Sapphires. Absolutely stunning polish. Again, two coats to be, be fully opaque on the nails. No problems with formula or application. Absolutely beautiful polish. So this is a uh, pretty perfect polish uh, eternal. The last one I have to talk about and my favorite out of all of them that I have is called The Edge of the Abyss. And this is the holographic version. There's two versions of this polish. This is the non-holographic version and then the holographic version. So this has holographic uh, particles in it. So it's this lovely green, but it does it does have a purple flash in it. See that purple flash? I found it so hard to capture that purple flash when I was taking my pictures, unfortunately, um, but it is there, it's absolutely beautiful. And these, the holographic glitter, it's like, it's like a linear and scattered kind of holographic going on in here, it's absolutely gorgeous. This one I found I did have to put three coats on to be fully opaque. It was just a li I could just see a little bit too much of my nail line again on that second coat, so I did put the third coat down. But out of all of them, this one was my favorite. Personally, I think this is a lovely polish for this time of year. So I was very, very happy that I picked this one when I was making my selections. I'm actually really, really in love with this polish. So this is an absolutely beautiful polish. I'm really glad I picked it up. So this is Pretty Perfect Polish, The Edge of the Abyss. So those are the polishes that I picked up for Pretty Perfect Polish. Overall, I'm very impressed with the brand. I can't wait to try more of uh, Megan's products. I'm so glad that we're able to get these indies now in Canada. We just need to be able to get more of them. So like I said, if you're interested in learning more about the petition down below, we can hopefully get some more of these indie brands over here. And these polishes are gorgeous. If you're looking to try a new indie brand, this is an indie brand that you guys need to try out. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. She now has partnered with a US distribution. She has partnered with a US distribution. She's partnered with a US dis distributor, distributor, distributor. She's part, <clears throat> she's partnered with a US distributor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get that word out. She has partnered with a US distributor. Uh, <clears throat> she's partnered with a US distributor. Distributor. She has partnered with a US distributor. 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 She has partnered with a US distributor. 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 <laughs> in Canada or the US and you want to purchase these polishes is in the description. Why can't I talk? Why can't I say D words today? What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, I really don't want to move things around again because I was just a pain in the butt and I broke all the nails on this hand. So yeah, I wasn't impressed with that, but things happen. So I have very, very short nubs on my right hand and my long nails on my left. Doesn't really match, but I'm not trimming these down because these are the longest these have ever been. So these are staying long and these are going to have to grow. So it is what it is. Funnily enough, the piece of furniture that I was moving um, when I broke my nails was my Helmer. So yeah, I'm, the irony is not lost on me.